Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Habita fillah. A question was asked, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please can you advise on a brother who has been financially struggling to secure a job and trying to get married for eight years. Majority part of his life has gone through ibtila, through testing. I fear that I will fall into an immoral act, especially living in the UK. It is hard. I try my best to fulfill, to fill my day to study aqidah, dhikr, and dua. Is there any way I could bring relief to myself from this trial and tribulation? Barakallah fiqh. First of all, the Prophet alayhi salatu salam said, Adina nasiha, adina nasiha, adina nasiha. Qalu Liman Qala Rasulullah alayhi wa sallam Lillahi wa li kitabihi Wa li rasulihi Wa li a'immatul muslimin Wa ammatihim Ruahul muslim In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Said that the religion is sincere advice And then the companions Radiyallahu ta'anu majma'een Said uh, To who? Who is this sincere advice? The Prophet ﷺ said, Lillahi, to uh, Allah, and to his book, and to his messenger, and to the imams of the Muslims, and the general Muslims, ruahu Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, we see the importance of uh, uh, sincere advice, and that that's the religion, so we should advise one another as brothers and sisters. And quickly, as a quick overview, as far as the hadith, how do we give advice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We give advice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshipping Him and Him alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al Kareem, wa ma al jinn wa lintil al yabjun. I have not created mankind into the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Our purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We give sincere advice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following His commands, being obedient to His commands, having taqwa and having iman. We give advice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by knowing the categories of Tawheed, Tawheed, uh, Arububiyya, Tawheed, Al-Uluhiyyah, Tawheed, Al-Asma'i, Wasifat. So by knowing and understanding who, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how to worship Him properly. That's how we give sincere to Allah. We give sincere, uh, we give uh, uh, the sincerity to Allah and sincerity to His book by practicing His book, by knowing, reflecting on the Qur'an. We have sincerity or giving advice, if you will, to his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by following the sunnah of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And we have sincere uh, advice for the leaders of the Muslims by advising them, even when they're doing munkar, if there's leaders that are, that are wicked leaders, that are tyrants, then you give them advice, sincere advice, not like the Khawarij and others who rebel and, 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 and encourage the people to go against the leaders and spread their faults and make takfir of them, as we know many of the wicked, sinful people who follow the minhaj and the methodology of the Khawarij. And we give sincere advice to the, uh, the ulama, uh, uh, to the imams of the Muslims, as far as these, the scholars, by respecting them and their honor and defending them and defending their honor when they are the warath al-anbiya, they are the inheritors of the Prophet. And we give sincere advice to the general Muslims, uh, you and I, uh, we, we res by advising one another when we are going through difficulty and trials and tribulations. Now, getting to the uh, crux of your question, that sincere advice, my sincere advice, has been given about this issue before, but first and foremost is that you need to make tawakkal on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which you mentioned that you have been going through these tests for many years and not been married and you're being tested with zina, as many of us were in those days of our early Islam or whatever the case may be, and many of our brothers and sisters will go through who need to be married and may not have the means. Uh, and my advice would be to tawakkal ala Allah. And when we talk about tawakkal ala Allah, we are talking about, as the ulama mentioned, al-itimad ala Allah wa fi'l asbab. We are talking about making efforts. So when there are so many ahadith of the Messenger of Allah, show us that we have to make efforts. So many ayat 
in the Quran to show us that we have to make effort. That, that this taqwa and that the tawakkul, that we have to make effort to, you know, we have to fi'l asbab. We have to make effort and do deeds in order to uh, attain righteousness and in order to attain, obtain jannah. It is through our deeds and ultimately, ultimately, it is from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we can't expect to go to Jannah by not doing deeds. We have to make efforts. And we can't expect to get married except by making efforts to get married. And we can't expect to have our risk increase except by making a bath or, you know, a striving and making efforts uh, to obtain the risk. So, my advice would be that you make every effort to find halal uh, risk. And I'm sure there is uh, in the UK. The UK is not shattered in its economy. Uh, there are ways to make, meet, uh, make ends meet. And you have to humble yourself and go forward and find something. If it's working in a grocery store, if it is delivering packages, if it is through Amazon, uh, there are means. And I I'm not on the ground in the UK, so I can't speak about the UK, but I can speak in America right now. There are many opportunities to make a halal living, to make something, to, to, to do something, to get the means in order to be able to then be able to hopefully uh, provide for a family, to be able to then get a mahar and provide for a family. So, again... Make as much effort. Don't sit in the masjid and, you know, pray in the masjid. But don't just sit there and make dua, raising your hands and not make an effort. Go out in the marketplace. Find a way. Sell incense and oils if you have to. So, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, strive your utmost to get a halal means and then make all the efforts to get married. Your local imam, those brothers who know you. Uh, if it is through the websites, the marital websites, whatever it takes to get you halal, strive your utmost to do so. So that is all I can give for advice is make sincere advice and make sincere toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because often what we find from many of uh, our brothers and sisters, ourselves included, is that a lot of times we want things from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we say we're making effort, but we're not really making the full effort. And a lot of times we want things from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we really know that we have some major sins that are holding us back. They're really chaining us up. We say, oh, I'm doing this and I'm getting tested and I'm this, but yet you're still doing such and such sin. And you know you're aware you're doing such and such sin. So strive your best. You're going to have to make toba. You're going to have to keep coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hopefully... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you relief from that test. Verily with every difficulty there is relief. Verily with every difficulty there is relief. So strive your utmost to get that relief and to find a halal livelihood and find a righteous Muslima to marry that will be pleasing to your heart and pleasing to you physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with a beautiful, righteous uh, spouse that will be pleasing to you and that you will be pleasing to her. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase all of our rizq and increase us in ikhlas with the bat ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.